going on guys hopefully it's not too loud and windy out here i got the ac going the wind's blowing birds are chirping all kinds of fun stuff but i figured i'd show you what should be a relatively quick fix uh, to a damaged garden hose i have uh, i've already cut the bad part out of the hose uh, which was this probably six inch piece here uh, ended up pulling it over a sharp piece of metal and ripping a huge gash in it so uh, we're gonna fix it uh, i know they make repair kits with compression fittings and uh, the screw-on hose fittings and all that but uh, i think this is a little bit faster it's cheaper and uh, a little bit more low profile as well so you don't have to worry about dragging it over stuff getting it caught on things you know breaking it again so uh, what i got here is just a 5 8 to 5 8 nylon hose barb uh, I got all this from Menards today. Uh, these are about two bucks a piece. And uh, obviously you want to buy it for the size of your hose, most common being 5 8 inner diameter, about three quarter outer diameter. Unless you got a real heavy duty hose. Uh, but you can see it's just a barb on both ends. Uh, I normally spray them down with a little bit of dish soap or WD-40 makes them easier to slide in doesn't hurt to hit your hose a little bit as well and uh, here I have chosen to use some one ear pinch clamps uh, same as hose clamps with the screws on them but again they're uh, a little bit low profile uh, these run you about 25 cents a piece give or take these are the three quarter inch and if you have a little trouble pushing this in sometimes a rubber mallet kind of help you get it the rest of the way but WD-40 really does a good job put your clamp on near the end of your fitting use your pinch pliers pinch that down that'll never go anywhere again and it'll help to put the uh, other fitting on first or clamp and we're gonna put it to about the same side sometimes I do opposite it really doesn't matter and again we'll just pinch it and if you want you can take a pair of channel locks and kind of flatten these out a little bit or just kind of hammer them down with your pliers uh, but now we got a whole hose again no holes in it that'll probably last you know till the next time i rip the hose in half or the hose just dry rots out in the sun <laughs> But uh, that's about as good of a repair as any. Still got good water flow through it. You know, no holes, no loss of pressure really. And uh, it's low profile and cheap. You know, two bucks for this, you know, about 50 cents for the two clamps and you're done. So uh, just a quick fix for you guys that I think uh, is a little nicer and uh, better to use than some of the other options out there. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.